For eight years, it has been a favorite of News Channel 5 viewers and one of NBC's most watched television shows. In tonight's cover story, Kim Hibbs takes us to Los Angeles for an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at ER. This is the side of ER most people see. We have heat exhaustion, barbecue, smoke inhalation, and boils. All up for grabs. I love my job. This isn't. Parker! Back run, moving! Go car, car! And no one, no one, no one. County General Hospital, a level one trauma center where doctors and nurses make life and death decisions every day. Okay, on my counter, everybody. No, one, two. Whole time spinal compression. Hey, sister Lee. I've been suspended. Suction on high. Oh. The show is set in Chicago, but filmed in Los Angeles. All it takes is a few million dollars, a lot of fake snow, and even fake dirty cars to recreate a Chicago neighborhood. Say, on my account, whole transfer compressions, you're off. Medical back. consultants are always around to recreate an emergency room where doctors and nurses look, act, and talk the part. Increased best sounds bilaterally. One of the normal things that we always say is how doll. But for some reason in my mind, I started saying it in a hall doll. And, you know, our consultant was right there. ER remains a Thursday night staple, always ranking at or near the top of the weekly ratings. We just happened to come on the air at a time where health care was a very topical issue. We were a young cast. We were a relatively unknown cast. And uh, the pace of the show was very different than anything else that had been on TV at the time. Carter, NBA two minutes out. Dr. John Carter, played by Noah Wiley, is the only original cast member who's never left the show. The group, the, the actors coming in and all, and some of the changes have come in seamlessly, it seems like. Well, I think this is a dynamic that lends itself very well to cast changes, because you do see a lot of turnover in hospitals. So it's, it's regular that you would see new faces rotating through as... Uh, students go on their rotations and as doctors go through their internship or through their residencies. It's actually very rare that you would find the same group of people working in the same hospital for as long as we all did. Do you have time for a consult? Fourth year medical student Michael Gallant, played by Sharif Atkins, is new to the show. Show it to us! Atkins says he's having a ball. Not bad. Despite the pressure of being the new kid on the block. It's the added pressure of uh, being able to kind of run with the big boy, so to speak, you know. Uh, but also, I mean, it's a little safety, you know, net, and, you know, you're joining a number one show, so, I mean, you gotta really be, you gotta suck to really bring it down, you know what I mean? It needs to be clear medically before Actually, we move them upstairs. I could go up at any minute! As the show continues to evolve and characters continue to change, the role of Paul McCrane is also changing on the set of ER. So, Weaver, we're clear, sign out all the Demerol and morphine? To who? You and me and my Uncle Bernie, what am I? Two. Get the hell out of here. Hello, who's this? The cantankerous oh, Dr. Like Robert Dr. Romano will be absent from at least one episode this year, so Paul McCrane can make his directorial debut. In that take, we saw Noah, the car went through, and then we picked him up again. Well, we shouldn't have done that. Well, right, that's all I'm saying. If we can, it also, I think, might help you a little bit. Uh, help us a lot. <laughs> what will you take from your role in the show that will make it easier for you as a director? Actually, the, the really, more than from this character, just from being an actor, you kind of get used to taking risks and sort of, in the face of terror, uh, forging ahead. So um, that's what I've done so far. Action! He's been tremendously underutilized on this show through the last few years. Cut! Uh, whenever he does have something to do, he nails it. Cut! Take after take after take. All right, let's try it again. And I think he'll bring that same sense of professionalism and, and attention to detail to his work as the director. And except for the fact that he had me running my ass off all over here this morning, it seems to be going really well. <laughs> yes, things are going really well at County General, and there's no reason that should change. In Los Angeles, Kim Hibbs, News Channel 5 cover story. Clint, right. that's it, we're done, thank you. And did you know it takes eight days to shoot just one episode of ER? And over the past eight years, the show has been awarded eight Emmys. For more behind-the-scenes pictures, you can visit our photo gallery on our website, ksdk.com. So, just how convincing are the ER actors? Well, Maura Tierney, who plays Nurse Abby, says after a few years on the show, her husband got sick. I diagnosed my husband's appendicitis. And he looked at me and said, get your hands off me, you're not a real nurse. He went to the hospital anyway, and Maura was right. It was appendicitis. And the nurse at the hospital even let Maura help her take her husband's blood. My husband's sort of out of it, and he opened up his eyes, and I'm standing there with the nurse. And I said, check me out, I'm helping the nurse. 
And he said, oh, my God, and, like, passed out again. Come on, come on. Yes. Honey, honey, here, take this. There you go. What oh. happened? They hardly stopped the car. I'm okay. Oh, gosh. You're not okay. Mom, step back. Okay, step let's back. sit down. Oh, okay, all right. What's your name? Kanisha. Okay, Kanisha, lean back while I check you over here. Did someone beat you up, honey? Oh, uh, Nonsense. Who did this to you? The guest stars have a big brunt of the drama on their shoulders, and I think they're always good. And that's a huge part of the show, because you're working off whatever this person's going through. And I feel like... Week in and week out, they're interesting actors and interesting looking and interesting, you know, so a big part of the show is the guest. Alex has come to London, or Dr. Corday. Um, and the only thing I know is I wish I got to go with him, <laughs> which I didn't. Abby never goes anywhere. Uh, but I think it'll be really interesting. I think it really will, like, open up the show. I think it'll be really nice to see that character in a to totally different environment. I'm just feeling a little less nervous after three years, finally. Um, and there's some procedures that the nurse the characters, nurses sort of are always responsible for, so there's some stuff I know. Um, but basically going into a trauma, we don't know anything. It's all the doctors. I mean, they, they tell us everything to do, basically. You know, the scene wouldn't work without them, so they do everything for us. Um, I think they're going to pursue their relationship with Carter, and Abby's brother um, is going to make a brief appearance. Um, which leads to a little bit more complications in her emotional life. Um, and that's really all I know. I don't know the specifics of that story, but I do know that, once again, a family member is going to wreak havoc on my life. <laughs> once again, a family member is going to wreak havoc on my life. Dr. C, looking good. Thanks, Malik. So, what's the GCS on this motorcycle trauma? I didn't do the run. Oh, well, let's get the x-ray textbook portable. You got it. Hold the CT till we eyeball the patient. Hey, welcome back. Yeah. Uh, do you know any of the specifics? 16-year-old girl, motorcycle versus utility pole, no helmet, Carter's bringing her in. What's the chick doing on a motorcycle? What's anyone doing on a motorcycle? Make sure the rapid infuser's primed and ready. Have a hundred of Fent drawn up, four of Ativan, and the airway drugs out of the box. The whole code's over. Okay. So then you stop bagging. When, and just and when do, do I, I stop? stop off? Okay, so she's gonna, he's going to say, on my account, whole transfer compressions, you're off. And then we're cutting. Oh, that's the line. We're going to cut. What is it? Oh, so, so you don't want He to goes, on my account, and I go, whole transfer. No, no, you're right. You want to jump off somewhere okay. around this area Before right Before the one, two, three, Before right? Before on my account. Okay, so okay. Okay. when did... Action! We're going to need some Monique. Uh, can she go to rhythm? PEA to just before arrival. Decreased best sounds bilaterally. Uh, is the family there? Look, uh, we're trying to locate them. We can talk to them if it be. No, no, it's fine. Just let me know when they arrive. That's actually working out real nice. I think we should do it all the way through, even though there's going to be a cut. Okay. Because yeah. that worked out. And then we can just pick it up from there when we do the gag. So right. that, that feels really good. We'll put Richard in. Let's do it again from the top. Bring him in. Okay, getting off. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, okay. Over the pace of this thing. Okay. So it's a sort of, whoa! What are that? Whoa! Whoa! Okay, another marathon. Let's open it up. Benny Simonek. PEA to agonal just before arrival. Decreased breast sounds bilaterally. Indicator for uh, agonal reps. Uh, didn't know you were back yet. First day. When did she lose her pulse? Never had one. Okay, on my count, everybody. No. One, two. Whole transparent compression. Asystole. Abdomen suspended. Suction on high. Oh. I need a yank hour. That's easily two liters. Vepi. No, don't bother. There's obviously a spine fracture. She's not even a good organ donor now. Is there family here? Trying to locate them. We can go and talk to them. No, no, just tell me when they're on. God, I love that. It goes really quick. Yeah. It's like, wow, I like it a lot. <laughs>